was pop and hello back on Pokemon Showdown with the bravest bird of all time. I have here a Braviary team. Suggested to bring this Pokemon of course after having done a choice band Mandibuzz video recently. So I'm currently on vacation in London right now but anyone that dropped a super thanks to support I'll compile all of you in the video that I do when I get back since I can't edit those in while I'm away. Um, the continued support truly means a lot. Now I'd like for you to leave a comment and tell me a Pokemon that doesn't currently have access to a move that you feel it deserves. I'd like to know. And so I was looking at Braviary right? I saw it had a Roost. It made me think about how Empoleon should be given Roost one of these days in a future game. Um, or just leave a comment to support. Even while I'm away, I shall always be tuning into the comments. So I look forward to hearing from you all, as always. So here we go. Braviary. We have uh, max HP, 404 with the sub. So we can't get our substitutes broken by Seismic Toss, which is really useful. And we don't get our sub broken by, I think, knockoffs and all kinds of stuff from Ferrothorns. I think we can also retain sub from Scald, Toxapex, and Slowbro and stuff like that, so we can bulk up a lot easier. Very, very bulky um, on the special side with the, the HP and the Spit F. I, actually, I think I was even able to not get sub broken by Moonblast from Clefable, which is really, really cool, of course. Um, and Defiant makes it such that you can't get intimidated by Lando T, which is great. And so the EV spread that I have here, enough speed to outrun Pokemon that are 210 because we're 211. <laughs> I have a little, a little jump point here um, from two, uh, 251 to 253. A little bit of attack, a little bit of defense, you know. Nice EVs and five stats right here. And so, Braviary is great because it's a Shadow Ball immunity. And because we're weak to electric, I paired it with a Gastrodon. Nice uh, Rocky Helmet user. A little bit more on the Fizz Def side because we have a lot of Spidef Mons on the team, uh, I guess. Like, for example, AV Chinese Runiculus, really great mon um, for the team. Also, Knockoff is great to remove any kind of damage boosting items to make Braviary setup a lot easier. We have uh, Heatran for Rocks, Dragonite for Defog, and Clef, which is unaware to be able to stop setup sweepers from doing what they do. And that is going to be the squad. So let's go ahead and hop into our first game, see how we do with the team. And I'm hoping that we can get some excellent Braviary games. I haven't really swept with it yet, but I think we can potentially do some stuff. They're rocking a Sun Team. I'm not too worried about it because we have Runiclus, which I might add is a fantastic lead. So even if they want a final Gambit here, we will have enough HP to just survive and regenerate. So I'm going to start a timer. I actually tricked. So now they are AV Victini. I could go Heatran here pretty safely. And then you turn out. Okay, nice. So the trick you turn probably V create. So they're not a final game, I I would say. Um, here we can taunt. Nice. Okay, so we can Magma Storm here. Get a lot of damage on this Landris. And then go into Dragonite. Where we can now proceed to clicking Ice Beam. They go Clef. We freeze it though, unfortunately for them. So now we're getting a bit of fortune here. Because lately I've been hacked, but... That's pretty interesting. Okay, so Torkoal is back now. We get to go into Runiclus. And I think we can just go for a future site. Thunder Wave Dodge as well. Get to go Gastrodon here uh, right now. And switch out to Heatran on this turn. And they soft boiled up. We can Magma Storm here. And they go immediately into Venusaur. No, that was not the play. I don't think so. Wait. <laughs> they expected Taunt. They went right into Venusaur because they thought, they thought they'd get Earth Power, but nah. Not today. Not today. Let's go ahead and... You know, I will. I always thought or hoped that if you were, were having Sun on the field, it could thaw any freeze because, it, you know, the Sun melts the ice. But unfortunately, that's not how real life Pokemon mechanics work. So we're going to go ahead and roost up here. Torkoal is in and this is a Runiclus right now. In fact, I actually could possibly... Um, oh, we yawned. Let's go Braviary. Perfect. Yep. Braviary time. So it's time to have some fun. Let's sub. They teleport out. Into who? Victini. Now, I think we just Brave Bird here. So they bolt strike so they can be faster and not go for any speed drops or anything. Crit that, which is interesting. Um, we get to go Heatran, powers us up a bit, and then we can Magma Storm here. 
they are just going to U-turn out. But they could thaw themselves if they go into a cleft, yeah. There you go. But it died. <laughs> it just disappeared. It disappeared. Oh, that's unfortunate. Because they gave me sun too. Just crazy. Um, let's go into Braviary. Nice. And then we can uh, sub. Unfortunately not, actually. Because um, I'm slower. I should have roosted. Should have roosted. So let's Ice Beam here. Should be able to um, heal up on Blissey though, which is going to be fun to do. Um, Gastrid on switch. They teleport out. It's just a matter of getting rid of the Blissey, which we can do. Like, it's not going to be that difficult. I'm going to put a Toxic on this thing, and because he's knockoff, yeah, there's no poison or anything. Take a little Helmet Chip while you're at it. Torkoal's in. I see Yawn. I don't know if he has Solar Beam or not on this thing, but... Nah, the doubles and, and they have lost the game. They have no offensive pressure now. Yeah, good game. So, solid first game. Got fortunate there, but I don't even think we needed the fortune, to be honest. They threw away their Venusaur of their own will. And Victini. So, continuing on. To a hopefully an even braver game. Bravier game. Wherever it is. Alright. Here we go with a standard looking team. Braviary could put in a lot of work here potentially because if Rotom only has Volt Switch and we're behind a sub, we can roost it off. It's just the Weavile we have to worry about, but if we bulk up, we'll be in a good spot. Hmm. Okay, so I think this looks like a pretty good Heatran lead. Potentially. And so they lead Slowking. We can definitely go Reuniclus here to knock off an AV. And so they actually tricked and they gave me a Black Sludge, which actually on this Mon, it's probably the best because we can regenerate, right? So we're not in a bad spot. So they Sludge Bomb, we can do that. Go into Heatran here. And then they're going to take a Future Sight right now. So we get to... Um, we get to go Clef here. And so the Earthquake, okay, nice. Let's soft boil up. They are indeed leftovers, so heal up here, get to go into Reuniclus now. And drop another Future Sight. Which should be pretty good. Yeah, the good thing about, I mean, yeah, now we have Black Sludge and Wisp. <laughs> which is annoying. Um, let me focus Blast here. I'm going to see if I can hit the uh, Weavile on the Switch. Okay, we hit the Ferrothorn on the Switch, though. I mean, we hit nothing on the Switch, but that's okay. That's perfectly fine. And they set up rocks here, which is okay. We can Magma Storm right now as Rotom comes in. Um, I could get my own rocks up, which could be nice. I have Heavy Duty Boots on Bravier, so it's okay. Well, I also have Gastro I can go into. Give me a Storm Drain boost so I can maybe try to Scald Burn the uh, Ferrothorn. But they go Torn, which is fine. I'm just going to attack this, and he's burned now, which is amazing. Let's actually go ahead and Earth Power here into the Ferrothorn slot. Because they're going to die to, um... Oh, we hit the Slow King. Okay, nice. He is AV, though. <laughs> but he can't trick or anything, which is pretty cool. And so we get Scald here. Hit the Rotom, and Rotom's not doing anything to me. Gastron actually just walls this guy's team. I can heal up, too. Uh, so I guess we can do this, this game... Yeah, you can't do that. Um, how do we do this? Let's go Reuniclus. Into Gastrodon. Hmm, gotta think about how I want to do this. I guess we really don't need Reuniclus much anymore. You can have... Well, whatever you... you whatever you want. You can have this, Mon. Um, I just need to get in uh, Braviary. If possible. Weavile's a bit annoying though. Alright, so they go Garchomp here. I'm gonna go Dragonite and click Ice Beam right now. I just want this mod out of the way. Yeah, so they scale shot, it won't knock me out. Good, good, good. So Garchomp out of the way, which is fantastic. Weavile is in. It's gonna be a threat. A threat and a half. Hmm. 
What do I do here? I think I roost. I think I know for a fact he's definitely, um, oh, he knocked again. Oh, okay. Good play. He's looking dead. Rotom is in now. Get to go Gastrodon here as he actually goes Weavile. Let's actually Toxic this thing. So that's actually not bad because Clef can handle these mons. Okay, well, who do I not need? I don't need Dragonite right now. I don't think I need as much. So let's sack. Let's go Clef and Moonblast here. He'll think I'm uh, Magic Guard because of Boots, which I'm not. Weavile out of the way means that Braviary can potentially win the game now. So actually, he goes Ferrothorn. We're going to Soft World up. Heal ourselves. And then he trans my play here. Double Leech. Let's go Braviary now. And then into Gastrodon. Gotta find a way to get the sub off, right? Leech Seed avoided. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> I got thumbnail text as well. I just gotta get the right scenario. And so we sack here. We go Braviary now. We get the uh, Will O Wisp. Okay, cool. Sub. Nice. And a bulk up here. And. A bulk up again, and a sub. I mean, we're faster than oh, we are faster than the two. Oh, that's amazing! We are faster than the Rotom. Okay, that's beautiful. So we knock this out, and Braviary gets to uh, take this game. I think. Hydro Pump. Ooh, avoided too. Let's sub here. And forfeit. Let's go Braviary though. Ooh, Braviary with the knockout there of the Tornadus and pretty much the sweep of the last three mons. I had a feeling that Braviary could handle the Rotom even because um, it was a bulkier set, right? And the speed that we have is enough to outrun like those um, non-speed Rotoms and stuff like that too. So that's amazing. And we are able to handle the Ferrothorn. And Ferrothorn had the stronger attack of what Ferrothorns sometimes run in Jarable, which you know, I don't think you see as often as um, Body Press Knockoff Power Whip, which Braviary can handle a lot better. Nice. Let's continue on. I'm hoping that we can uh, get some some nice sweeps with the Braviary. Ooh, actually, could potentially be a Braviary game, depending on the Zapdos set. If we can get rid of Zapdos, that'd be great, though. Um, Reuniclus lead could work, potentially. Yeah, let's leave with it. Definitely Bishop's going to be a huge threat, though, for sure. Um, this is a future site right here. Definite future site right now. They go hard, Bisharp. We are definitely switching out here into Dragonite. And then we are going to click Roost. Because I think they're going to go Ferrothorn or something. Yep. Ferrothorn comes in. We get to go Heatran now. They set up spikes, we can just throw rocks up here. And then go Runiclus. So Keldeer, of course, is a threat, but I think we'll be able to handle stuff decently well. Yeah, so we can Future Sight now. We can also throw a Focus Blast off here, which is another pretty solid play. Um... I'll future side just because I want him to think I don't have Focus Blast. We go Dragonite for sure. They knock again, and then we just click Earthquake. Get more damage on this thing, and then Roost here is the play. Even more chip, even more damage. So I'm definitely going... Uh, Heatran right now. It's Magma Storm. Gotta get some damage on the Keldeo. 
Nice, nice. Into Reuniclus we go now. They could double potentially, but I don't know if they will or not. This time I'm going to focus Blast. This time here I am going to focus Blast. That is what I'm going to do. Oh, how dare you. Good lord. This guy knew. So he got up all his hazards, unfortunately. Um... I'm gonna focus blast here. Yo, it's time. You already know it is time. Let's go. That's what I needed. You like that play? Now I start the timer. Keldeo comes in, and I mean, Future Sight comes out on the next turn, so I don't know what he's trying to do right now. I don't know. Scald, but then you go down. Goodbye, Keldeo. Goodbye to Keldeo. And we can roost on pretty much everything, I think. We don't take... I don't think we get knocked out by Zapdos. Yeah, didn't take rocks. Let's just roost up here. And Defog. And then we can switch out now, I think, into Gastrodon. Toxic this thing for sure. For sure. Uh, but he goes Pharaoh. I think, actually, what I could do is... Um, so he has Discharge on the Zapdos, right? If we poison the Zapdos, we can do the win with Braviary in the end. So I'm going to Roost here. And I think maybe one more Roost will be good. He doesn't know I have Ice Beam, but he probably does, secretly. Let me go uh, Heatran now. I need to take this Toxic off of me. So they go Zapdos here. Okay, that's not bad. Let's uh, Magma Storm right now is the play. And so they... Ooh. They are trapped now, which is pretty good. We Taunt. Yep. Magma Storm again. Very nice. Can't believe we're actually... Well, I'm gonna jinx it right now. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> that's what I meant. I, we're breaking through Paris, so I was like, dang, that's kind of crazy. Nice, Zapdos gone. Now we can do what Braviary wants to do, I believe. So Landers comes in here. We are just going to switch to Braviary. The U-turn out immediately. Okay, okay. It's time. Let's go Braviary. Bulk up here. You already know. Yeah, good game. Good game. <laughs> Good game. Ah, uh, Braviary, once again. It's uh, such a good mod. Like, it, it's good in, in the mid to late game. I think late game is where Braviary shines the most. Um, just because it requires certain pieces to be removed from your opponent's team. And if you can do that, then Braviary can set up with the sub bulk up and put in the finest of work. Some teams, though, have uh, no answer, so you could probably do it early. But many of them have answers to Braviary. But we got to see, you know, the finest... I faced this guy while testing. His team, uh, his Tapu Lele beat me because it's good against fat mons. So, I think what I must do is lead with Gastrodon. Toxic immediately. Yep. And recover now. This is the play. Rotom is in, we can Toxic you too. I don't know why you did that, but... Okay. So then I, ju I guess I just... um Scald here. Oh, he was trying to get the burn so that he can't get poisoned. That's a, a decent play. Yeah, like, I guess you could do that. Because he's going to Pain Split and everything like that too. 
I'll keep it low. I'll keep it nice and low. So I'm going to, um, oops, I'm going to knock off here. Definitely knock off is the play. Get rid of an item on something and we get rid of the choice specs. That's actually really good. That is really, really good. Shadow ball here is what I do. Yeah, nice. Future side now. So this guy just threw away his Tapu Lele. Pretty much. Yeah, gone. Okay, nice. Then we can regenerate too. Dragapult's in. We get to go into, I think, Clef. Future side comes out on this turn. Keyshine will come in though, but that's okay. We get to go uh, Gastrodon, I think, or Dragonite's not a bad option either. Let's go Dragonite. Let's uh, defog here. Nice, nice. Let's go Gastrodon first, and then Earth Power now is our play. So let me weaken you a little bit first. And then recover. And then I'm gonna go Reuniclus now. <laughs> oh, T-Wave this time, okay. Maybe regenerate a little bit and then go back. And then drop a Future Sight. Nope, not today. That's perfectly fine. Definitely going to go Dragonite here. And I mean, I can heal Bell everything in the end, right? So it's not a big deal. It really is not a big deal. Um, you know, if you want to waste move, that's fine. Reuniclus and Future Sight here. Hopefully, we'll go through this time. Nope, that's fine. I'm gonna earthquake this turn. Nope, never mind. So that's okay, I guess. I mean, if you want to hax, you can hax. It's whatever. I'm gonna see if I can ice beam something. Like this Buzzwell, for example. Or the Landers. Oh, nice. Nice. I'll take that gladly. Let me just go Gastron here on the knock. Or U turn, okay, nice. That is fine. So I can expect Draco Meteor to come out here. I'm gonna go Heatran. Oh, Shadow Ball, okay. So, huh, okay, nice. I would actually love to get rocks up. If you, I mean, if you wanna keep rocks up on my side, I will definitely keep them up on yours. I'm gonna go Dragonite here. We can now Earthquake. Okay, there we go, got the Earthquake off. Did not get the Earthquake off. So I think Clef's gonna win in the end now. Let's start a timer. Alright, Buzzwool. That's a threat, right? That's a huge threat. Let's go Reuniclus first. As the Ice Punches, let's drop a Future Sight. There we go, and then... Go Heatran. And there is the U-turn into what I believe is gonna be an Earth Power. And then it'll die to Future Sight. Yeah, good, out of the way. Here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go Heatran into Braviary. <laughs> it's time, let's sub. Um, I don't know if I'm faster or not, but I think I am. Ah, nice. It is faster. Now the question is, will I die to a Draco? It's quite possible. They Shadow Ball. Oh, good play. Very good play. So I'm definitely switching out here. And then um, clicking bulk up this time. Clicking sub or... Oh, it was a speed tie. Oh, yo! Oh no, never mind. <laughs> okay, this is Infiltrator, right? Um, Infiltrator. So, how is it? A, it was a speed tie then? 
211. So he's outrunning 210s with this Rotom? I didn't, I can't believe that. Thunderbolt, okay nice, so then Gastrodon gets to come in here. Or actually Reunigus gets to come in in Future Sight. Now we just do Future Sight stuff. I was like so, I was like so happy that, that Landris was gonna give a Defiant boost. Yeah, I guess like another problem is, you know, Infiltrator stuff. Um, here we're just gonna knock off. And then, y'all wanna see a fire play? Watch this play. Yo! <laughs> Reduce health. Ah, nice. Very nice. Buzzwell is in. This mod can still be a threat, depending on what it does. Um, so I go Reuniclus, and then I click Future Sight again. Yep. Go Gastrodon, and recover. Last is gonna be Dragapult, which we can just Earth Power to win the game. Good game. Very nice. Oh, one more turn. Thought it was over there. Or two more turns, I should say. Braviary finished up with a Brave Bird. Good game. Very nice. Putting in the work in that one, for sure. Um, what are we at? Let's see. Yeah, we could probably get a few more. I, th I think a few more for this one is going to be good. I, I just want more Braviary games. That's all. That's all I want. More Braviary games. That's exactly what I need. You know, I've actually never, while testing a featured mon for a featured team, I don't think I've ever run into the same mon in that video, or like the same Pokemon. Like, I don't know if you ever like are or trying to build a team out of like a unique Pokemon, and you ever run into that Pokemon on the ladder. Like for example, if I was rocking a Glaceon team, I would have loved to find a Glaceon as well. <laughs> Alright. Gonna be a tough one because uh, Glaceon is actually a very strong Pokemon, has freeze dry and stuff. So we have our work cut out for us. Let's lead Reuniclus and try to knock off some stuff here because the Glaceon is gonna be a threat with the uh, choice specs on it. Which it probably is. And the problem with that is it has freeze dry, it goes through Gastrodon, and it's gonna hurt Braviary a lot. But Braviary looks actually pretty good. Like, yeah, for example, we're gonna knock off here. Blizzard, nah, not today. Choice Specs gone, and this Glaceon is not gonna be doing much damage anymore to this Reuniclus. Is it a nice start? Indeed. Where is your hail? <laughs> Alright, so then we're gonna Focus Blast here. Hit the Heatran slot. Nope, never mind. See, I, don't to, I mean, what? They're both the same accuracy, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna do that too. <laughs> Equal. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I'm gonna leave it like this. It's very um. <laughs> it's like a pattern. Ah, oh, nice, 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 nice. Um, let's go into Dragonite. He does have Toxic, it seems. Um, that's a pretty nice move. What I want to do here is, um, let's go Braviary. But the Rotom comes in, oh no. Can't Volt Switch on me, I'm going to Toxic here. Should be able to hit the, hopefully, hopefully Seismitoad. But I'm glad we got some nice thumbnail text. Yeah, I love how we like, came to an understanding here, right? We, we, we came to an understanding in these first few turns because um, with the Blizzard miss and the Focus Blast miss, <laughs> we were like, yes, I understand. <laughs> Love that. They're really thinking about this next move though. Oh, oh, <laughs> we're really in sync right now. We really are. Okay, Clef, figured as much. Um, let's go into, could go Clef of our own, I'm gonna go Heatran. Teleports out, okay, nice. I expected to see you, and then we could probably go uh, Clef here. As they knock off my heavy boots, that's fine. 
I am going to Aromatherapy my Dragonite and then go right into Renaclis, which I don't mind getting Toxic because I can regenerate. They go for Nasty Plot, that is pretty nasty, but I'm going to survive with ease. Let's knock off whatever item this has. Um, leftovers, okay, cool. And so Future Sight comes out on this turn, they will probably U-turn out here, which means I should probably go... I think Heatran anyways is good. Pretty sure it's good anyways. They Roost, so they take some Chip, and then we get Rocks up. And we get to go into Gastrodon here, and into Reuniclus now, where we can, I mean, if they're Teleport, we can Future Sight, they probably Wish Teleport. Um, so we got another Future Sight lined up, looking good for us right here, and then we can just um, Earth Power here. Got a lot of damage on this side, a lot. I'm pretty sure I'm faster, so I'm gonna just attack here. A little risky, a little risky to stay in. Um, let's go Braviary into Reuniclus now. And then we Future Sight again. Or, 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 cancel, cancel. Or we Focus Blast, which is another play. No, Scissor is too healthy, I forgot. Um, Future Sight it is. Future Sight it is. And so we want a Future Sight here because we want to pressure continuously. Let's actually this time go into Dragonite. And then Earthquake, here's the play. To hit whatever comes in. It's going to be Clef. How much is this going to take? It's going to take an Earthquake, that's 27. A Future Sight, that's 41. And out of range of a knockout, but that's okay. Um, hmm. So we know he's Magic Guard, right? With Leftovers. I think back to Reuniclus we go, and then Future Sight again. So they Moonblast. This time? We go Braviary, because if we get a special attack drop from Moonblast, we get an attack raise. <laughs> Watch this. Okay, never mind. So Rotom is in, and then we just, um, I think we just, uh... I think we go Gastrodon here. Block the Vulture so he takes the Future Sight. Toxic's me, but I have the um, Aromatherapy, so it's okay. It's Earth Power here. Hit the heat translot. Ooh, you already know. You already know. Putting in the finest of work. Um, I see leftovers. Okay, that's good. So here we definitely um, go Reuniclus. Goes for the wish. I think a focus blast will be what we need to do. Oh, it's wish teleport. I forgot. Yeah, I should just. Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. Um, Dragonite here. I'm gonna heal bell and everything anyway, so it's okay. So let's just uh, roost up here, is the play. Mm-hmm, perfect. Then we get to go um, Reuniclus. And then into Heatran we go. Into Clef now. And Aromatherapy. Yep. Cure ourselves <laughs> is what we do. What we gotta do out here. Um, okay, so what do we do now is the question. We are unaware, so we can just, um, can just Moonblast here. And then Aromatherapy again. Look at that. Look at that. Crazy. So I'm going to Future Sight here. I'll have to try to heal on something. So I do have Speed Investment on the Clef, so, which is pretty good. So Toxic Magma Storm, which may maybe means he doesn't have... Maybe he doesn't have Earth Power, who knows. But I'm on Earth Power here. He does have it, but I tank it better than he does. <laughs> Gone. Okay, that's amazing. GG. Good game. Good game, and I'm glad that we had some good thumbnail text. And a very nice understanding. It was interesting to see Blizzard miss, Focus Blast miss, Double Toxic miss. Like, as if we were uh, <laughs> dancing this dance together. Ah, uh, okay, good game. I think one more for this. I want to end it on a Braviary. I want to end it on a Braviary game, that'd be great. Um, this is not a Braviary game. There's an Unaware Clef, which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. To have to play against. This guy's uh, annoying team, but... Oh well, time to knock off some Pokemon. I think in the end we can do it, because we're gonna knock off like Shed Shell and stuff. Or we knock off AV, that's really good too. Let's uh, Shadow Ball here. 
Let's knock off again. Get, an get rid of another item. We get rid of all the shed shells potentially, and then um, we'll be in a good spot. So Corviknight's shed shell is gone. Nice, nice. I'm gonna drop a future set of my own. So they have body press. Okay, cool. So we got a future side lined up. We're gonna go Heatran here, and then we are going to Magma Storm. As Gastrodon comes in, Magma Storm misses. Cool. So they recover. We're gonna knock off again. So now they are gonna Iron Defense up, which is okay. Absolutely fine. I think I just Earth Power here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice Fidef drop. That's what I like to see. Skull burn this thing. That's okay. Um, back to Reuniclus we go. And I think we focus Blast, which I don't know if it knocks out Corviknight, but it might. Let's see. Let's see. Please, please, please. Yeah, there we go. Corviknight gone. So he can't do his pressure stalling tactics or anything like that versus me. Always satisfying to you know beat down a stall team. Now we get to knock off this. So they knock off my AV, which really doesn't matter too much in the grand scheme of things. So now we get a future side off lined up. Um, let's go Braviary. And then I think here we just uh, sub. Brave Bird here. So just 41, that's very good information to have. I assume they're unaware though. Let me bulk up here. Yeah, they're unaware. Okay, so that's good to know um, that they are that. So we're definitely going to want to go Heatran. And then Magma Storm here. Nope. Okay, let's go Dragonite and Defog. So we Defog here is the play. Get rid of these T-Spikes. And we'll do it again, you know, so it's not really an issue. Let's Future Sight here. Go Dragonite now, and then... Hit that Earthquake on this turn. Nice! Oh, beautiful! Your Future Sight come through. Let's go. The unaware Mon. We just have to get rid of this thing and we're good. Let's defog here. Um, seems like I could go Braviary and sub here. Unless they, I don't think they have Haze on this thing. That's the problem. I think Braviary just six zero stall or just. Yeah, I think it does. Wait a second. I think yeah, <laughs> Braviary six zero stall. Let's go. <laughs> ah, what a game to end it off. Everybody forfeits because they know exactly what's going to happen. Braviary, all, all it has to do is just bulk up, bulk up. And, I mean, Clef was pretty much gone. The whole team destroyed. That's what you love to see. Ah, not bad. I think that's a great spot to end this video off. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the Braviary Showcase. Where it really can put in a lot of work. The sub bulk up set is extremely dangerous. If your opponent does not have the right mon for it. Like, it's just so good overall. Um, but... Yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, let me know in the comments. A Pokemon that currently doesn't have access to a move that you feel it deserves. I like to know. And I was just thinking Roost at the time, so it could be anything you want. Um, I just want to hear from you all, that's all. But I look forward to hearing from you all. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. If uh, you enjoy the content, it would mean a lot on our journey to 100k. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.